Blessings. Papa G. You know, it's a special day. I just feel like something magical is happening right now for me. You know, today is a great day. say this to say that, you know, today we land Nipsey Hussle to rest, to the final resting place, rest in peace, Nip. Like I said, I never met the man, but I almost had my opportunities to meet him. But the way I say it's special is because... Not only we land him the rest, but today is my birthday. April 11th, 1973. And there's something magical about that because people that know me know how serious I am and how hard I work on music, um, film, you know, I shoot videos, and just everything entertainment. I'm a hard worker. You know, I work for the post office. I have a decent job. I'm, I'm also uh, a great dad. You know, I raise kids on my own. And I struggle, you know. I never fold it, you know what I'm saying? Like what Nipsey say, never fold under the pressure. There's always been a lot of pressure in my life. And I just feel like it's a new day. And I ran into somebody the other day going to the store. It's a little story. I mean, it's just like, is it a coincidence or is it, was it meant to happen or what? But parking in this parking lot I noticed this guy in the parking lot and he kind of reminded me of Nipsey Hussle for real like he, he looked like him without all the tattoos and stuff you know he had his hair he had long hair it was covered up he had a beard also but it wasn't like Nipsey Hussle's beard like you know what I'm saying it wasn't he had it groomed and like with a rubber band and all that stuff, but I knew he was he wasn't from this country, you know. And as I was getting out, I turned to close my door, turn around and a guy was right up on me. And he said something, I don't know if it was it was Swahili or it was some type of language he was speaking toward, towards me or at me, should I say. How you doing? And um, when I looked at it, I thought he was going to ask me for some change or something like that. But he wasn't, he didn't look like a person that would ask for change. You know what I mean? He, you never know these days, basically. So I made light of it. So he said what he said. And then he shook, he reached out for my hand. So I shook his hand. How you doing, brother? That's what I said to him. And... After he got through saying what he said in whatever language it was, he said, I see in the near future, brother, good things are going to happen for you. And just keep up the good work that you're doing. So I looked at him and I said, well, one good thing is, is my birthday is going to happen in a couple of days. You know, I'll be 46. I mean, that's good. I'm, I've been here 46 years. So he told me happy birthday and, you know, and blessings be bestowed on me. So I take that to say this man don't even know me. So... For him to say that to me, 
had me kind of puzzled, like, you know, because some people, they don't approach me like that. Because <clears throat> they say I always have this mean look on my face or whatever it is, but I think it's just determination. But to go back to the story, what happened, once he said that, you know, I have a habit sometimes of not locking my car because I have this little... Uh, little lock fob thing, a little key lock thing, and I push it, sometimes it don't lock, so I turned around to make sure my car, walked back to my car to make sure it was locked, I looked in the window, it was locked, so when I turned around, and it's only like maybe five seconds when the guy walks away from me, and you know, turn around, and I look to see, you know, if the guy was still there, and I turn around, the guy wasn't even there anymore, and it's like, <laughs> he just disappeared in midair, so I don't know, you know, was, I'm like still confused on that, but, you know, I still think about it, like every time I see a picture of Nip, you know what I'm saying, or. You know, because every time, you know, you cut your phone on, you're seeing Nipsey Hussle because he made a big-ass impact on everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, and he also made an impact on me because I never met the brother. And for him to be buried, or his, his not buried, but his, uh, his home going on my birthday, which I didn't know he was going to be. His funeral was going to be on my birthday at the time that this incident happened. It just makes me think, you know. Because I am a brother that's, like, really determined on success and the things that I'm doing. So, it's just to say that even though I never met Nipsey... I almost had an opportunity to meet him. It's like he made an impact on my life, whether I liked it or not. So, Nipsey was a powerful person. And I really appreciate that because I always had it heavy on my mind that I'm going to make something out of what I'm doing, you know, because I've been doing this so long. I've been helping people and giving motivation to people who thought that they wasn't talented enough or thought it wasn't in them to do this. You know, I never had major success in a music game or anything like that, but that's because I'm not a greedy person. You know, I have a job, and everything that I do besides my job <clears throat> is what God has for me. You know, he keeps me working and able to take care of my kids. But, um, it just has me thinking, you know, and it is my birthday, so. It's the birth of a new beginning for me, you know. And I'm going to accept it. Because, you know, this man right here on my shirt, I mean, it doesn't matter how old you are, you know what I'm saying? Nipsey is 33. I'm 46. So, that just goes to show that you can learn something from somebody younger than you. And I'm not ashamed to say that this brother has, has taught me a lot about what I need to be doing. Just staying focused and, and not folding under any pressure of society. You know, I keep my circle small. 
the people that I do keep in my circle are really determined to make something out of nothing. And like he said, it's a it's a marathon. And I really get that, you know. I was always living my life like a hundred yard dash or something, but it's not like that's not what it's about because the race continues and the marathon is is a long, long long race so hopefully you know I'll be able to run or walk that victory lap you know and to continue and to try to help my people and the people that are around me to succeed in life but I just want to say R.I.P. to Nip, Nipsey Hussle, Aramis Astodon, and I want to give my condolences to all his family, his friends, the neighborhoods, just everybody. Because it was a king, and he was walking amongst us, and you know he 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 was he was trying to tell us. So his death his death is a beautiful thing because it inspired us and also that it teaches us that you're here for a purpose. And once you figure that purpose out, <clears throat> you'll be able to have that victory lap. And that's what I inspire to have is my victory. Man, and my job is done. I can celebrate this whole lap, you know. I love you guys. I love my family, my friends. And I love my life. I say peace be upon you guys. Papa Z, my birthday. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Rest in peace, Big Jazzy. That's my brother. He taught me a lot too. So I see you fellas when I get there. Peace. <laughs>